The videos on my channel are previews of kits I will build or are reviews of kits I have built. And I would it'd be cool if you would uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and enjoy the videos. So my good people, uh, this will be another after build review of the Panzer III Ausführung L from Tamiya in 135 scale. It was a pretty cool kit. Uh, I have an earlier version of the Panzer III and I wanted a later version. So let's take a look at it. So I don't want to take too long on this one. Uh, it's it, it's it's a lot like the Mod 3 was. It's probably in <clears throat> a newer mold. And the instructions are the same, normal Tamiya instructions. And it did have this loose page with painting instructions, which is normally the painting instructions are on the kit, on, on the, the page. But that's not like anything big. I got this thing was pretty cool. Now, Panzer three is like, they upgraded the, the gun, I think, it, to a 5 centimeter from the 3.7 centimeter. And uh, they added armor. So here on the front is an extra armor plate. Here on the front is an extra armor plate. They uh, added uh, armor plates here on the sides. Um, it has an open turret. Not much to see inside the turret, but it's open. <laughs> uh, it has a lot of tools. It looks pretty good. I like it. It's a, it's a mean looking little tank. Now, this is Panzer III. It's not like Tiger or anything. The Tigers were about, came along a lot uh, later. These were around uh, 42, 43. Tigers didn't come out to 44, 45. Um, but they, they did, these did a lot of damage in Russia until the the uh, until the Russians came out with their T-34, 85s and such in the 76. Uh, the Panzer threes were and, and the Panzer twos as well were taking out all the BT tanks, a lot of the BT tanks at least, and the uh, especially the smaller tanks like the uh, T-26s and the uh, T28s and stuff like that, they couldn't hold up against these these uh, better armored and better armament tanks that the Germans came in with. And I just think this thing looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to do a little weathering on it. <clears throat> I'm going to get around to do some models again. It needs to be dusted up a little. There's exhaust in the back. They also have a guard on the exhaust, an uh, armor plate, you can see here. There's an armor plate. And the exhaust is under it there. No, it was actually a bit complicated to get on there. It didn't have shirt. it didn't have the skirts on it though, like some, some of the German tanks. But they probably did have versions with some, like the, uh, like the, uh, the Stug. The Stug had the armor skirts, but I think some of these tanks, the tanks might have had some too. Or they could have used, they could use them if they needed them. Um, good little machine gun there. Looks good. The track looks good even for rubber one-piece track. This was a good one. Alright guys, bye. And here a quick, a quick look at the other Panzer III. You can see the difference in the gun. This one's a lot longer. In the model, you really don't see the difference in the diameter. But just the length. You can also see the differences in the, some of the armor here and here. Extra plate, extra plate. The cupola is about the same. This has an extra bustle rack. It has extra tools too, some 
you see extra road wheels and, and stuff where this doesn't but that's more uh, crews do that by themselves a lot they put what they think they need on it yeah, you can tell even though there's holes in it like a like a a guard could go over it there wasn't a guard for it no idea what that was about Okay. Then, till next time. Bye.